Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly B2 and in this video we're going to be talking about the move copycat which is a very highly requested video for me to do on the Z move series that we were talking about. A lot of you commented down below on the other videos and said you gotta do Z copycat, do Z copycat, do Z copycat. So we're going to be doing that in this video and we're going to see exactly what happens when you equip a Normalian Z crystal with the copycat move. Now guys be aware that the copycat move is not a TM. It is a move that is learned through certain Pokemon leveling up and it is passed down through Pokemon breeding down as well. So you can't just put this on every Pokemon and it is only going to be applied to a specific group because it is within the realms of learning that move. Um, also, I want you guys to be aware that this move is very, very similar to the whole premise of how Mirror Move works as well, except Mirror Move is going to work on mostly flying Pokemon. So without further ado, let's get into this video and see exactly what happens when we use Z Copycat. So here we are. We're going to go in and we're going to find our first Pokemon. So here is the encounter. All right, so we got a Fletchling appearing. All right, so let's safeguard to be, you know, just just to hold up and not do any any copy pasta or mistakes. So Fletchling is going to use Peck here. So all right, there we go. It use it uses Peck right now, and then I'm going to fight. And I'm going to hit Z Power, and I'm going to go for the Copycat move. Now, usually, if I used a regular Copycat, what would happen is my Mr. Mime would just use Peck. But since we're using the, the Z Power with it, the difference is going to be changing here. Now, as you saw, it's also mentioned that the accuracy boosted as well. So we're going to be using Supersonic Sky Strike. So we're using a flying Z move now when we do that copycat. That is, oh my gosh, that is horrifying. <laughs> Mr. Mime flying out of the sky. He's already a creepy doll. Oh my gosh, Mr. Mime. Wow. All right, so that's that's what happens when you basically do it. Let's see what else we can, we can find up in here in this patch of grass. Ooh, a Salandit. This is this is this is this is great. This is a nice showcase of Mr. Mime doing his thing. Doing his thing. All right, we're gonna safeguard again. I'm I'm hoping he throws a smog at us. Oh, uses Ember. No problem. More of a showcase for us. All right, so he uses Ember and simple thing again. We hit the Z Power. We're going to hit Copycat, and it's gonna do the exact same thing, except this time, instead of throwing back Ember at it. It's going to be throwing Inferno Overdrive. That's exactly what Mr. Mime should be doing here when we use the Z Copycat. Now, this has to be after a Pokemon attacks you with an inflicting move. If it's a status move, it's going to change into the Z status format or moves for that specific Pokemon. So there we go, Inferno Overdrive. Oh my gosh, poor little lizard. K.O. The Salanlet goes down just like that. We're going to go around this grass again. Let's see what we get this time. All right, we got we got our Magby. We got a Magby. We got different Pokémon showing up each time. This is this is pretty nice. Uh so let's let's safeguard here. Hopefully we just get a regular move from uh Magby doing something here. Okay, Magby uses Ember. So, really not much I can show here besides that, but, um, in this area, but as you notice, when we did do the Z Copycat, it says our accuracy does rise. So if you're using this mid-battle, your accuracy will go up as well, so keep that in mind with the, with the Z Copycat. So your accuracy goes up, you, of course you can use it once in battle, and you'll be using the move that goes right back at the Pokemon as well. Now let's just say... For example, if the Pokemon did a sword stance and increase its attack, well, guess what? If you did the Z copycat, you'll also be doing the Z sword stance and you'll be getting your attack going up after using copycat, as well as your accuracy boosting up as well. So that is very, it's a very interesting move to use when other Pokemon are using status inflicting moves or buffing themselves up with like four times attack or two times attack or doing a dance because you just copy that in the Z format and you'll get your Pokemon higher up in certain stats as well. So that is something to keep in mind as well but now let's go take a look at some details about z copycat maybe see what pokemon can use it as well so i'm gonna pop open this screen right here i'm going to go to sarabit.com i'm gonna be taking a look at copycat now as you can see copycat power points are 20 its accuracy is zero 
The battle effects is basically the user mimics the move used immediately before it. The move fails if no other move has been used yet. So be careful not to waste your Z copycat until the other Pokemon has used it. Secondary effect uses the move just before it in battle effect rates. The detailed effects, like we said before, the boosted accuracy goes up by one stage. So that's something cool about the Z copycat. Uh, there is no TM. The speed priority is zero as well. And here are the Pokemon that can learn copycat by leveling up. As you saw, the creepy Mr. Mime learns it. He's number one on this list for using it. So we got Mr. Mime. We got Clefo. We got Iglybuff, Sudowoodo, Smoochum, Skitty, Pulsey, Minum. Spinda, Bonsly, Mime Jr., obviously. Hapini, Riolu. Ooh, ooh that's, that's pretty interesting. A Lucario using some nice Z copycat would be an interesting thing to see. Mess Spirit. And this is nice. We got Mimikyu. We got Mimikyu over here that can also use it. And Marshadow? Marshadow's not even out yet, but Marshadow can use it. Okay, that's something interesting. And then here's a list of the Pokemon that can learn copycat by breeding. Azuril. Bunnery, Lopunny, Oshwalt. So there you got a you got a nice fifth gen starter over here that can learn it. We've got Pyrion, Leopard, Zora, Zoroark, Flabebe, Floet, Florigus, Swirlix, and Slurpuff. So a lot of fairy Pokemon. We got Dark type. We got Water, Narmal. Got some Ghost hybrids up in here. Rock type. Got Electrics over here as well. So copycats. You know, not too bad. A lot of a lot of Pokemon can uh, use it. Now, whether they can, this can be competitively viable is up to you and how you build your Pokemon to use it. But it would be a very interesting thing um, to use Z Copycat when you are fighting against people who are using those buff up attacks like the Swords Dance and all those other things as well. But this is pretty much the list for it. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. So keep in mind, the accuracy does go up, so that's super important. And it works on status moves, and it works on the damaging moves as well. So you get a lot out of this uh, copycat move. So yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. It helps, and one like goes a very long way. And if you would like to see another type of Z move video, please comment down below, and I will definitely get into it right away as well. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter while you're at it. We do a lot of updates there as well. So guys, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Philly Beats You, and I'm out.